Hi, George here. And today I'll be showing you how to change the music on records inside of Minecraft. This is Minecraft Java. I'm currently playing in 121.4. And we'll be doing multiple records. We'll be doing three records. So it's how to change the music and also how to do more than just one record in your new resource pack. Okay, the first thing we have to do is go over to the desktop and begin getting this thing set up. Okay, here we are on my desktop. And we need just a few things to start. You need some place to build your pack in. So I just made a new folder here on my C drive and I called it pack. Doesn't matter what you name it. And then we need to have your new sound files. I have three in here. These are just different random songs that just play these. Kind of fun little thing there, some guitar. Old fashioned one right there. And a little bit more new age on that one. So there's three random songs to use. We also need to have images for those songs. And I have three images here. These are all basically round. This one looks more like a record instead of the kind of strange thing that we have in the game. And this one's at 32 by 32. Well, it's 32 by 29, but basically 32 square. The ones in the game are 16 square. This one's larger. This is at 64 square. And then the cookie over here, also round, is at 128, basically 128 squares. It's 128 by 126, but 128 square works perfectly. If you want to, you also can make your own pack PNG file instead of using the grass block that comes in the game. This one's just 128 by 128, and it's a PNG. That's all that is, nothing special about that. Now we need to decide which songs to change in the game. And I have a list over here. Let me just open this up in its own file. Easier to see, there we go. So here's all the records in the game right now. They added new ones every so often, but this is all there are at this point. And notice that these are all different lengths. And the reason why this is important is because starting in 120, the records only play as long as the original song played. It's now hard coded into the game. So our longest ones up here are blocks. We'll do that one. And then down here we have ward and we have precipice. So we'll do those three. If you want to have this list, I do have this available on my website. Let me bring that up. I'll show you where you can get this download. It's right here at htggeorge.com. There's a hyphen between htg and george. Go over here, right-hand side, Minecraft Downloads. And then right here under Music, Records in 121. Right there, that's the one that you want. And that's that same file. Okay, so we have the three that we'll be changing in here. Now we need to get the vanilla resource pack and get some more files out of that. And for that, I'll bring up the Minecraft Launcher. There it is. Go into Installations and Latest Release and click on that folder icon right there. That brings up the Minecraft folder, which is a hidden folder. And here, scroll down until you see versions right there. Go into versions and then find your version. Right now I'm in 121.4, which is right there. If it has anything after that, ignore all those. You want the one that's just numbers. So let's open this up. Make sure this matches the version that you're playing. In here we have a jar file and a JSON file. You want that jar file. Now if you're not seeing the .jar, go over to view, come down to show, and put a check right here. Find them extensions, you can then see that dot jar. This is Windows 11. If you're in Windows 10, go up to the View tab at the top and right-hand side, put a check next to Find them extensions. Same thing. Make sure you see that dot jar, very important. Okay, we need to get this over into our working folder, which is right here. Easy to do. I'm just going to right-drag it over here and copy. Don't move. Make sure you copy that. Okay, so that's done. Get this out of the way. We now need to open this up, but you can't just open up a jar file, but you can here rename this. Again, we need to see those extensions. Rename it to say .zip. Click outside, say yes. Now that jar file just happens to be a zip file anyway. It's just named .jar in the game. To make this easy, I'm going to right click on this, open it in a new window. So it's floating on top, makes it real easy. Now if you don't want to use your own custom pack PNG, you can get the default one right over here, way down towards the bottom. And see if we can find it in here. There you go, pack.png, that's that grass block one. So that's right there. Okay, go back up here to the top. Let's go into Assets, into Minecraft. And there are two things we need out of here. One is in the Lang folder, and that's this one right here. This is English US, and it's a JSON file. Now this will work for anybody who is playing the game in the US. If you're in a different country, then you'll want to get a different file. For instance, Canada has a different one, England has a different one, Australia has a different one. So if you're in a different country, you have to use the correct JSON file for your country. 
Now, I have a video all about how to find those, and I'll put a link for that video in the description. Now, this is sitting inside of these folders up here, Assets, Minecraft, and Lang. Let's begin setting our folders up over here. I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna put it just underneath like that so I can see those up there. And so a new folder, our first folder here is going to be Assets. Go inside of Assets, and new folder. Second one is Minecraft. Go inside of Minecraft, new folder, and this one is Lang. Okay, right here is where we need to put this Lang file. Now I'm going to take this and just right track it over here and copy. There we go. So that one's done. Let's now back up just a little bit here, back to Minecraft. Let's go into textures. We want to get the files for the images that are used in the inventory. And they're down here in item and their music disc images that scroll way down to find music disc. Here we go. We want the blocks. We're also going to be doing ward and precipice but these are in a different folder. You see right up here, these are in Minecraft textures and item. So let's make that folder set up in here. So go back here to Minecraft. We have our assets in Minecraft already. We need a textures folder right here next to the Lang folder. New folder, textures. Notice how I'm not using any capitals in any of these things. So it's all lowercase. Let's go into textures and right here, new folder, and this one's item. And go into this, and the record images go right here. You notice I already have this one named Music Disk Blocks. I have this one named Music Disk Cat. I haven't renamed this one yet. So let's check the name for this. And that's going to be Word right down here. Let's go ahead and rename this over here just so we can see what we're doing. Just do that. There you go. Click into the name here, click a second time. And let's just rename this Music Disk Word. Notice the underscore right there musicdiskward.png. And we need to change this one here saying music disc cat. This needs to say music disc precipice. There we go. That's good. We can now move these into the right folder. Let's just grab all those, drag them into assets, inside assets, drag them into Minecraft, inside of Minecraft. There they are. Drag them into textures and then drag them into item. Let's now back up a little bit here. And let's now take care of the Lang file. This is where the record is named in the game. You're going to see the name in two places, in the inventory, and also when you put it into the jukebox, it kind of floats above the jukebox just for a moment. So you have those two names to work with. So let's go here to the Lang file. You want to open up this JSON file. Now I do all of my editing, all my code editing here in Minecraft inside of Notepad++. It's free and it's perfect for this kind of coding. Okay, open this one up. There we go. Let's now do the first one. That's the name of the disk inside of the inventory. Okay, let's do a search in here. Search and find and do a search for music. And I'll just do find next until we come down and find those. Okay, here we go. We're now seeing disk five and it says music disk. And we have all the other disks right down below here. So we can close that down. So in here we have these in sets. The disk name right here, this is 5, and this is the 5 description. Here's 11, and here's 11 description. The top one just says music disk on all of these. That's what shows in the inventory. The first one's right here where it says blocks. Now, don't change this bottom one here. This has changed someplace else now. This is no longer used. Go up here where it says blocks and music disk. We change the one that says music disk. And this is going to be our crawfish. Like that. Let's now get the next two. Our next one is Precipice. Let's just scroll down a little bit here till we find it. And it's right down here. Again, you want where it says Music Disc. That's the one you want to change right there. I'll do this one as Friendly Day. There we go. And our last one is Word. Let's scroll down here. It's right down here. And there's Word. You want the one that says Music Disc. That's the top one. And this is going to be Vishnu. Okay, that changes the names that show up when the disk is in the inventory. We now need to change the name of the disk when it is in the jukebox. That used to be this right here, but this is no longer being used inside of Minecraft. So we can't do that right here. It used to be a lot easier. Now just ignore this bit here. This is no longer used. Instead, we have to do a new search. Go up here to search and find. You want to be looking for a jukebox. Let's find next. And there we go. Close that down. And here are the names of everything when it shows at the jukebox. 
So we're changing blocks right here. That's what we call crawfish. And we're changing precipice, which is right down here. And that was our friendly day. Notice that these can use uppercase just for the names. And then our last one down here, Ward. This is Vishnu. Okay, so that changes the names when the records are just put into the jukebox. And let's save that. All right, so that's fixed. We now have our images taken care of and we have our record names taken care of. We now need to rename these things and put these into the game properly. And these have to be converted to the .og format. That's .ogg. You can't just retype it here. That's not gonna work, so don't even try. Don't bother with that. It has to be converted. Now you can do it online, or you can do what I prefer doing, which is with a program here on my desktop. I like using Audacity. It's a free download, and it's a great program for this kind of basic sound editing. If you want to do this online, there is a good site. It's called Convertio.co that I also like, and it's also free. Now before we convert our songs, we have to finish up our folder structure. So let's go over here to Assets, go to Minecraft. We need a new folder right in here. So that's New, Folder. This one's Sounds. Let's go into Sounds and then new folder, and this one's records. And then our records are gonna be going inside this folder here. Okay, let's now bring up Audacity and convert these songs over. And here's Audacity. And the easy way to get your song in here is just to drag and drop. We'll do the crawfish one first, there we go. Notice that this comes in as a stereo track. We have to be using mono tracks inside of Minecraft. All the songs are mono in Minecraft. We have to convert this to .ogg, and we have to rename this to blocks. So three things to do, and we'll do all of that up here under the file menu, come down to export audio. So first one, let's rename this to blocks. Notice that's all lowercase. Next, it has to go into the right location. Let me show you that. If you're still back here at the pack folder like that, over here to browse and go into assets, Minecraft, and the one that we just made here, sounds and records, it goes right there, choose save. The format is going to be Og Vorbis files. Down here, the audio options is mono. Okay, that's all set up. Go ahead and export that. And that's now done. We can now close this one down. Let's do the same thing here for our next one. This is Friendly Day. This is going to be Precipice. We'll drag it over and then go up to File, Same Steps, Export Audio. And this one is Precipice, same location. Everything else is the same, but change that to mono. Choose export. Okay, that one's done. Close that down. And the last one down here, this is Vishnu. Drag it up here. There we go. Back up to file, export audio. And this is going to be Ward. Same location, same format. Make it mono and choose export. We can close all that down. There we go. Let's double check that. Go to assets, Minecraft, sounds, records, and here's our three new records right there. We now need to have a special file that's the pack.mc meta file, and that just tells Minecraft the name of the resource pack and the format number. That used to be included inside of the vanilla resource pack. It no longer is, so I have that now on my website. Let me bring that up and I'll show you that. Back here to the website, over here it says Minecraft pack MC meta. Open this up, and the current pack number is right here at the very top. Now this is changing again. Once 1.21.5 comes out, it has a new number, but we're not there yet. We're almost there, but not quite. So this will be changing real soon. You want to just download this, just click on this. It's a zip file, and then save it back into your same working folder. Choose Save. Okay, let's close that. Here it is. I'm going to right-click on this, and let's open this in a new window. There's a file. Drag it over here. We can now get rid of the zip file if you want to. We don't need that any longer. Hit the Delete key. That's gone. Okay, I'll edit this inside of Notepad++ again. Open this up. And here we go, pack format should be correct if you downloaded the right one. And then we can just put a new name up here. Let's call this one Custom Records. And I'll leave the 121.4 on there, just so I know which one it is. Save that. Okay, that is done, ready to go. We can now build the pack. Get the Assets folder, hold the Control key down, get the pack PNG, either your custom one or the default one that I showed you earlier. And the pack MC Meta, we need those three things. Right click, let's compress that to zip file. Now it has to be a zip file like that. It can't be the WinRAR RAR format, it has to be zip. And then on the name, let's just change the name itself right here. Let's call it records 1.21.4. We're ready for the game. Let's now bring back up the Minecraft launcher, which is right here. We're still on installations, latest release, hit that folder icon. Now scroll down to get the resource packs, and it goes right over here. 
Okay, I'm just gonna right drag it over here and copy that. There we go. We can now go into the game and load that up and make sure it works. Okay, back over here, hit the play button. Let's launch Minecraft and activate that pack and test it out. There we go. Let's come down here to options and resource packs. I'll take up my opening sample there. And we want the new one in here. It's right down here. There we go, records 121.4. That was our new one. Bring that over here. Choose done and done one more time. Now I have my own custom menu on here. If you wanna see how I did all this stuff, I'll put links for those videos in the description. Let's go ahead and get into the game. Okay, let's now test that out. Hit the E key, bring up our inventory, go over to tools and utilities and records at the bottom of that. So here's our first one, that's the crawfish. There we go, the top one is what it shows in the inventory and bottom one is what it shows in the jukebox. Let's just drag it down there. There we go, crawfish, that's good. Second one here is Vishnu, drag that down. There it is, and the third one over here is Friendly Day. There you go, all different. And they're all saying the right thing. Notice that the image sizes were different, but they all look fine here inside of the game. So you can use larger images if you want to, like we did here with the cookie one, to give you more detail, that's fine. Okay, so now go over here and make sure that they work inside of the jukebox, also important. Let's try crawfish first. There it is. Okay, Vishnu. And that's working. And friendly day. And they're all working. So there you go. Now, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Also, make sure you hit subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. And I'll see you next time.